All right, so one of the things that I want to share with you today is how to be uh, smarter in, um, in doing some tasks if you are developing an app, a Flutter app, or any kind of app. I'm, I'm just showing this on Flutter, but it works on anything. Um, that can be done using text expanders. There are multiple applications out there for text expanding. The one I like and I, I use and I like is called Text Expander. So uh, this is Text Expander. This is just a, uh, so far it's a uh, trial version. Oh, my son is here. <laughs> just, I need to study. I'm just doing some work. Okay. All right. Can I? You can borrow your charger? Yes, you can borrow my charger. I think it's there. Right, sorry. So, um, uh, this is Text Expander. In Text Expander, you can um, write, it depends on whether you are having it on Google and uh, whether you are having it on uh, uh, Windows or on Mac or probably shell script maybe there's also a Unix version or, Linux or something I'm using it on Windows and uh, JavaScript is available for me here just the plain old JavaScript uh, the way I use text expander is uh, is that I create a JavaScript uh, that looks after uh, what's there in the clipboard and do some work on that and then present that or produce that as a and as a result the case i'm working on now is that i have developed an app and i do have a lot of text fields that's been hard code or text areas text uh, strings that has been hard coded and what i want to do i want to take this text area uh, this text uh, uh, this string and uh, change it into a variable so i want to put the variable in here and take the variable out from here and, and declare it in another file and i have to do this for lots lots of files and i'm using um, uh, android studio so what i will do first i will go to uh far uh sorry far um uh, i will go to which was that edit find and then find a path and I will start on this path which is tab forms this is the path I'm looking for and I'm going to use uh, rejects regular expressions regular expressions are amazing and maybe we'll do some other work on uh, or other video on regular expressions and how to use it while you're doing programming uh, so what I want to find here I want to find every text that uh, starts with a um, uh, single quote okay so I have a single quote and then I wanted to start with a, a word letter which is A to Z or A to Z capital or small and a space okay and followed by a quote right uh, uh, sorry and this one is like as many as of those so you've got like so it will find here this one and start finding them one by one and start showing me here so this is like that friendly um, name and this is the hint approximate if it's fine or two and then I start finding all of these words like current balance so I want to go to each one of these I want to take this uh, text the string and make it a variable and the variable will be K the letter K small and then the whole word, which is that friendly name, and Pascal uh, case, which is the first letter capital, that the rest of the word is small, and then without any spaces, and put them in another file. And I will show what's the uh, output of this. So I'll show the um, first demo of this how it works. So I'm going to take this. What I'll do, I'll control X, it's copying it, and I will say, I will delete this and say ZA. So it's now statements string dot that friendly name. And I will take the uh, text in here and I'll just say control V. So I have it now static string k that equals that friendly name. 
and then I will move to the next one. Now this is, does not exist. I move the next one that I want to uh, change. This one, I will take it. Also, I will take this. Say X. I will delete this. I will say ZA. And then I'll go to my file and Control V. So I'll go to the next one. Just get it balance. This one. Control X, delete it, ZA, go to the file, paste it, and keep doing that. Last name, I'll just do this slide for the last. Control X, backspace, ZA, go to the file, paste it. I'll take all of this in the file, and then I'll go to the file that has the statements. In here, which is this file, at the end of it, Control V, add all of this. This has been declared before. And now the file has got no errors. Sorry, which one? I don't know which one was the file, but the files that, that has all of these words had no errors. So this is the one. So no errors, and everything is defined. That was quick way of doing it. What's in my text expander? Uh, if I go to text expander, I'm defining a string, which is the clipboard. And this clipboard can be captured from here, clipboard. Another string with this clipboard, again, so I have two strings holding the clipboard. And the first string, I'll just replace uh, the word with First letter upper and the rest is lower, uh, lower case, just to, uh, to create the uh, the Pascal case. And then take the string, replace all the spaces with nothing. So I do have, so if I put like a sum, which is my name, I'll take this, Control X, and then ZA. Oh, sorry. I'm doing it on the same file. So I go and uh, let's say in, uh, oh yeah, here, ZA. I can even like kind of capture it in here. Um, what's that? Here. So I would say some Alame, Control X, ZA, and this is what's generating, Isam Alame, as in here. And then I add to it, uh, I produce the statement string, statement string.k, plus STI, so I get all of this. But before doing that also, I add this here to the clipboard, so I can say, after I do this, Ctrl V, and I get the same string which I had earlier. I want it to replace with a variable, with the string filled in in, a, in, the, uh, uh, in the identifier for that string. So this is it, hope this helps. Uh, X Expander is, I think, 30 days free to try. It's, it's an amazing software. And uh, I use it for a lot, 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 lots of things to replace if I'm even just try doing a replacement of a um, widget with another widget or anything, anything. Just, just you think that when you want to do a lot of, of work on taking a, um, a piece of text and transfer it and replace it to another piece of text based on it, text expander can be used uh, for this.